Damage goods, good eh? How are you? Anybody there? Julian, hello. Gary, hello mate. Hello from Devon. Hi to Devon. All good. Glad. It's not going to come out on the camera, but there is a sun setting. And I'm in Scotland. Gary Poston, good pictures. What on Instagram? You know what? All the Instagram pictures are taken with my phone. I'm not... I wish I knew how to use my proper camera, but uh, I don't. Um, who else have we got here? Damage goods, house or holiday? Holiday is great. Holiday is awesome, in fact. Uh, today is our sixth, sixth night. Uh, yeah, so we've done two days in the Brecon Beacons, one day in Snowdonia, one day in... Hollyhead on Angley, one day in the Lake District, and here we had to miss out on Loch Lomond National Park. Oh, that's a joke. Oh. Um, anyway, so we're just on the outskirts now of somewhere, somewhere, some national park, some national park. But uh, this holiday is fantastic, yeah, it's just, I mean, look at this, I mean, I'm in, uh... oh, I can go higher, I'm going to go higher, I want to go to that, that little peak there. Hola, como estas? Uh, Gary, good pictures, thank you. Oh, it's... my daughter's on, my daughter's messaging me, hi Belle, I'm very good, I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow night. My daughter's flying to Scotland with my wife tomorrow. So we're going to pick her up tomorrow from the airport. So I'm very excited to, to see Belle. Who else have we got here? Uh, good day, Urban Stealth Camper Van Man. Hello, how are you? Um, Paul, hello Paul. Oh, man, the midges are out. Uh, clear video, I mean, oh, is it clear video? Well, I've got good signal up on this hill, but I'm walking around, so if I start to lose it, I'll head back to where I was. James, you have better weather th there than Bedfordshire right now. Yeah, I hear it's raining in a few places. It's raining back home where, uh, where I'm from, and it's really good weather here. We just had a barbecue, in fact. Um... Mike, hello Mike, how's the van life going slash holiday? Fantastic, thank you very much. Loving it, in fact. Yeah, I mean... Oh, I've just got to the top of this hill. It's just amazing. Check this out, okay? I hope you can all... And I hope it's all clear and that there's no lag. Alright, let me flip the camera around. Just 360 degrees of just amazing, amazing. Um, Bex, yeah, yes, Becca, I have seen Belle's message. Yes, I have said hello to her. Um, if you're still there, Belle, I hope you're being good for Nanny. You need to get to bed soon. Raining, says the urban stuff camp around. Raining there. Oh, someone has someone has commented. Damaged Goods has said to uh, comment to Bell saying that she likes your singing on the other video. Mr. Johnson, hi, how are you? Oh, how are you? See you tomorrow, Bell. Gary just named my camper Discovery. At last, picked a name. Do you have a name for your van, Luke? Yeah, it, it's cheesy though. Let me see if it... <laughs> two years ago, 
when the three of our vans went on a trip to Spain. Um, because it was a bit of an adventure for us, we decided to name our vans after the Musketeers. Which is very cheesy, I know. But we decided to keep the names, even though we've all got different vans or different conversion, we've decided to keep the names. Porthos, Athos and Aramis, and mine is Aramis. So, uh, yeah, cheesy, but that's, that's what we're going with. Chris, 90. Hi Luke, Van still treating well? Van is behaving. I mean, I've got this knocking noise on the front right wheel still, which is a bit, ah, midges, which is a bit concerning. But, uh, just gonna drive it, I'm just gonna drive it. I'll figure it, fix it when I get home. Um, uh, Rubber Tramp, hello. Hi Luke, happy holidays. It's it, lovely in Cornwall. Oh. Uh, Carl Jones, van update. Oh, did I not give you one? I have, I have mentioned it. The van weight is fine. I, uh, in fact, before you'd even seen that overweight van overweight video, I'd, I'd sorted the weight. I got rid of a whole load of tools and I was carrying around and, and wood. And just, I had loads of stuff in there that I didn't really need. So, yeah, I'm un underweight now, thank goodness. But, uh, yeah, I still have, some, still have a few weight saving ideas. I need to sh streamline a few things. I want to rip the sofa out and make it with less wood and lighter material. So, uh, oh no, it's buffering. Uh, where's my signal? Oh, I've got full signal. Let me know if it still carries on buffering. Dorothy Thompson, hello. What kind of van do you have? We have a bongo called Dotty. It's a nice name. I have a long wheelbase, extra high top, Iveco daily. Uh, and it's a beast. It's, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Um, it's like seven meters long out, on the outside and five meters on the inside, I think. Something, something like that. What is this? There's like a weird circular pattern down there. Uh, Tim Timoney, I love that name. I say it every time. Good to see you. Bagpipe soon. You won't get me wearing a kilt or playing bagpipes. Oh, I just, I can't even talk because of this view. This is not even, we've had some incredible views and this is, this is, this is, ah, oh, midges. These midges are pretty, bad um i've got one of these i've got like a cowboy hat with a, a net fly net over it i've been wearing that it's, it's pretty good gary boston good name uh how is it daylight there it's pitch black here in bath is it pitch black i i've done a live stream the other day and it was live i, so, I did a live stream the other day and uh, someone was saying, it's, it's dark here. Why is it so light there? I don't know. I don't know. But it is amazing, isn't it? It's pretty spectacular. Um, never finished project. Evening, how are you? Lost in transit. Watch them midges, mate. Got, ah, yeah, you're not wrong. Got eaten alive in June doing the NC500. Oh, they're really bad up here. I should have brought my my fly net hat up here. Oh, they are bad here. Um, do midges? <laughs> <laughs> they're everywhere. Um, uh, are you in the Khan Gorms, Luke? Uh, just on the outskirts of it. Just on the outside of it. We we'll be there tomorrow. Um, we were supposed to go to the. I'll tell you about it. We we're supposed to go to the Loch Lomond and Trossachs National Park. Um, but I found out you've got to... Like, the thing is like a pff, giant campsite. You've got to buy a permit to camp in that national park. Uh, you've got to buy it a day before. And I didn't know this. So, um, yeah, we decided to just boycott that whole national park. Because you've got to... Even just at the side of the road. Or just find somewhere in the woods to park. You've got to buy a permit. To, it's just like a giant campsite. It's only like seven pound a night per person. But no, nah, I'd rather just go somewhere else and wild camp. I mean, this is free. Uh, you can't see. Let me let me try and show you where we where we are. So 
Yeah, we're, we're here. We're just down there looking over the lake and the lock. Uh, I forgot the name of it. It'll be on the vlog when it comes out, I'm sure. Oh, but we've just um, wild camped it every night. No campsites this holiday. Just fantastic. It's just the best way to do it. It just gets tricky when you have to do things like empty your toilets and fill up with water and stuff. But it's you can get around get around all that. Uh, so yeah, the Cairngorms is tomorrow, Tim. We'll be there tomorrow. Uh, probably before lunchtime we'll be there. Yeah, and then picking up the, my wife and my ch and my daughter from Inverness Airport. And then we're going to go all the way... Ah! Then we're going to go... <laughs> then we're going to go all the way around Loch Ness and Fort Augustus and Fort William and, you know, all that, all that stuff with them before dropping them back off. And then we'll go off on the NC500, which I'm really looking forward to. Oh, but this country is amazing. Uh, this, this island, this Great Britain is amazing. There's so many beautiful places here. I've never really travelled it. So I'm so happy I'm doing this trip. Greg, Jess and Becca, hello. Hi, mate. How did you get on? Uh, how are you getting on? Did you enjoy Snowdonia? Yes, Snowdonia is just amazing. Amazing. It, I mean, every national park we've got here is pretty, pretty good. But Snowdonia is so mountainous. Oh. Oh, we had a bit of a... I don't know whether to tell you now or tell you in the vlog, but we... We tried to get up this hill in Wales, and I, I, I lead because I got the sat nav going and the park for night business. Uh, so I so I start taking everybody down this road and it goes up a hill and it's getting steeper and steeper, and it's like like this, and uh, we just it, I was tanking it up this hill going really fast and I was wheel spinning on the corners and trying to get up there and my granny got stuck and had to go into the side of the bank so she wouldn't roll down the hill. Yeah, oh, it was a nightmare. Anyway, it was an adventure, but that'll be on the vlog. You'll see that. But uh, Snowdonia, Greg, it's just amazing. Have you been there? You mu you must have been there. It's just amazing. Pe Pebbles, thanks for your introduction to the South Central group. Went to the last meet up, but only stayed Friday night as water and uh, as all water electrics failed. Oh no! I will return once sorted. That's a shame. I couldn't come to that once. So it would have been nice to meet you, but. Um, yeah, I couldn't come. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't allowed. No, I, I. It was my last weekend before this trip, uh, so I was. I stayed home with the wife for that weekend. But I'll be at the next one, hopefully. Uh, John Lane. Yep. Uh, Black and Derby. It's Black and Derby, is it? It's amazing, isn't it? How it's light up here. Ah, midges. You need to get some DEET spray for the midges. I've got some. I should have applied some more. Smidge. And we've got some, um, it's called Skin So Soft by Avon. That's apparently meant to be really good at keeping the midges off. Oh man, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. It's just a hood. Try and keep them from going down my neck. Uh, dark now on the Isle of Wight. Oh, is it? Uh, damaged goods. Did you have any luck with toilet being full? Hope you found a dump tank. Uh, yeah, the UK is crap, isn't it? UK is rubbish for finding toilet disposal areas. Uh, so we've used a couple of campsites that we phoned. Um, I had to phone them and ask them if they would let us do it. And every and I found a lot of them that said, never even, never even heard of that. No, we're not going to let you dump your waste here. But a couple of them were quite nice and they let us do it and fill up with water and stuff. So... Campsites, that's been what we've been using. But if we fail to find a campsite that will let us, we'll have to find some public loos or something. Uh, Dorothy Thompson, Avon skins us off for midges. That's the answer. Yeah, we've got a load of that. It's weird, <laughs> it's weird isn't it? I heard that all like the SAS and the Marine guys, they all use swear by that stuff. But I've been trying the smidge. I've, been tr I've got skin so soft on now. My skin is so soft, <laughs> but I'm still getting attacked by midges, so I don't know which is better. Uh, Robert Campbell, hi, how has the new drone been? The new drone is fantastic. I still need to learn more about it. I've been flying it every day. Yeah, I just... Oh, it's recording onto my phone. I'm, 
also I'm hoping it's recording onto the the memory card that it's got because when it when it records onto your phone it's a bit jumpy because the drone flies off and it's miles away from the phone so it's a bit jumpy so I'm hoping it's recording onto the memory card on the drone but I have no idea until I get home but it's fantastic uh, I wish the range the range was a bit better I don't know whether that's something I can I think I can program maximum altitude and maximum range on the thing but I I haven't figured out all the options all the uh, options yet but I will but it's been amazing you're gonna get so many drone shots in the in the vlogs for this holiday Art Column hey up how are you doing now finished project how the tires been working out now that you've had some time to test them out managed to get uh, any off-roading in uh, a little bit not much not much actually but uh, the tires have been fantastic we noticed today that they 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 get warmer than standard tires because they're knobbies and they, you know there's more friction on the road when they're driving so especially if you're doing motorway driving they get warm but they're just faultless i went to put some uh, air in them i put some more air, well i went to put some more air in them because i thought the tires lose air now and then so i just thought i'd top them up I'm only putting them on to fit, uh, 50 psi, not not fully. Uh, that's what my mechanic recommended. Put these tires on, which is which is good. Not too hard, not too soft. But they'd hardly lost any any air, which uh, I was expecting them to have lost some. They're just fantastic tires. Definitely get some of these tires. These uh, BFG Goodriches, midges. Um, but yeah, great tires, man. Thank you for asking. Uh, Liam Rees, citronella candles help deter the little buggers. Yep, uh, any kind of citrus, citrus stuff. So you can get like bracelets that have like a citrusy smell that keeps them more, keeps them away. But I've got, yeah, I've got the smidge. I've got the skin so soft. I've got a silly hat, a silly cowboy hat with a net on it. Um, and I've got uh, a little electrical. Bu uh, rechargeable bug zapper in my van which does amazing it just I wake up every morning in the van when I don't think there are any bugs in there and I wake up 12 bugs attached to it so there's yeah, a good little thing so you should all get some of that get one of them uh, pitch black in Colchester how funny look it's it's it doesn't it's not that dark here it's dark when I take, aim it towards the light of the sunset. But it's nice. It's, it's not dark here yet. Um, pitch black in Cyprus. Just buffering. Sorry, Dorothy. Uh, try uh, watching it on a, in a lower quality, lower resolution, and uh, or refresh it. Um, Bronco, hello. Hi Luke, glad you came up my way. I'm on the Isle, Isle of Butte, so not that far away, but looks like you've discovered the midges. <laughs> yeah, I have. You know what? It's not been that bad. Up until right this moment in time, when I'm on top of a hill, uh, kind of near water, but not really. They're quite bad up here. But down, we've got a campfire going down there, um, and they don't seem too bad down there. As you as you live up here, why don't you tell me where's the where is the where uh, do they hang out the least? Is it near water or what? Uh, hi, Bell. Are you still watching? Isn't it your bedtime yet? Uh, hi, Charlie. Tim Timoney, mm -hmm. lightish in Alston. John Lane. Hiya, John. Uh, hi, you need to eat some fried spam so you will fit in Scotland. <laughs> Tim Timoney. Haggis is great, Luke. Also, they have kestrel stuff on tap in the far north. Yeah, I'm not a good eater anyway. I'm not very adventurous, so definitely not going to eat haggis. Uh, Avon skin stuff works best for the midget, but... Oh, man. Just flew into my eye, that one. But a good smoking fire beats them all. Ah! That's why they're not they're so good down by our fire because we're I just took a load of scrap wood and stuff so we're burning it and it's quite smoky so there you go thank you for that oh stop moving around oh 
Look, what time is it there? It's pitch black here in Coventry. I know everyone's saying it's pitch black where they are. It's half nine here. I don't know why it's still light. How strange, huh? Uh, in Bristol, the council is banning camper vans as they stay in the city. Well, why would you stay in a city in a camper van? Unless you had to work, but... It's such, it's such a shame. It's just that some, some people ruin it for everybody, don't they? Some people leave rubbish everywhere and they just ruin it for everyone. So people, so you get banned from parking places. Uh, Greg, Jess, and Becca, yes, mate, we've been there quite a few times. The girls and I love it there. We also plan to do the NC500 at some point soon. We're off to Lake District, Lake District in about two to three weeks. Well, I can recommend a great spot in the Lake District. Um, actually, it was around Lake Windermere. There's a great spot around Lake Windermere to camp. But yeah, uh, the NC500, I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm about to do that, so I can't wait. I can't wait for that. Uh, Pebbles, black here in Portsmouth, but storms supposed to be rolling in. Yeah, I think we're going to be getting some storms up here as well. Hi from Cornwall. Hi, Roger. Mark, the drone, you need a card reader for the SD card, mate. It takes ages for them to transfer across via the drone. It will be recorded on the card, but point of view is crap and connection is poor. Well, I don't plan to get anything off that memory card until I get home so I can plug the memory card into my laptop. Um, but I just have no way, without a card reader or a computer, I don't have any way of knowing if everything is being recorded onto the memory card. The only thing I can find out on the drone is how much remaining data I've got left, and that seems to be going down. So I'm guessing it's recording on the memory card, not just my phone. But yeah, I'm not going to get the footage off the drone until I get home. But thanks, Mark. Uh, hi from where you've just left. Mm -hmm. I am Wales. Hi. Uh, what tyres you got, Luke? I've got the BFG Goodrid, uh, BF Goodriches. <sighs> what size are they? One, four, five, six, five, sixteens. A bit of money on tyres. Just buy them, and you won't regret it. They're just they last for years. They're reinforced. Brilliant, brilliant tyres. Sharon Vance, welcome to Scotland, Luke. Thank you, Sharon. It's amazing to be here. It's so beautiful. So nice. Um, Belle, it's your bedtime. You better get to bed, Belle. I'll see you tomorrow night, darling. Funny UK, hello, my man. How you doing? You all right? Uh, friendly people, but can you understand the accents, Luke? Uh, so far, yes. <laughs> I'm not great at understanding um, accents of, of any nationality, but yeah, they're fine. It's fine. Uh, Brett, uh, um, be careful of the pass of the cattle going into Applecross. I did half the NC500 last year. Absolutely fantastic. You'll really enjoy it. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping I will. I'm sure I will. Uh, accent? What accent? It's called Itch here. You should watch... Oh dear. Oh dear, boys. Come on. Right, I reckon I'm going to make a move, guys. Let me give you another show of the area. Pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty special. Okay. All right then, guys. Well, I think I'm going to make a move. Just wanted to give you an update. It's going to be a few weeks before I can make a vlog for you of this trip. I hope you can. Uh, hope you can wait. Uh, where are you now? Where are you just now? Uh, uh, we're on the outskirts of uh, the Cairngorms National Park. Just south of it, of it. Uh, so we'll be in the Cairngorms tomorrow, and then uh, we're gonna go to Inverness to the airport, pick up the, my wife and, and daughter. Then we're gonna do Loch Ness, Fort William, Fort Augustus, all that. Drop them back off at Inverness, and then we're gonna go and do the NC500. 
Uh, yeah, I can't wait for that. Can't wait for that. Take care. See you soon. See you, Vespa. Good night. Never finished project. Tim Timoney, thanks for dropping by. Enjoy your trip and enjoy the smoky fire. Midge free. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Mr. Johnson. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for chatting to me. I'll uh, I'll do another live stream in a couple of days. Who else is it? Bye, Paul. All right. Thanks, guys. See ya. Thanks, Sharon. Uh, the drive is amazing. I've just done it. Thanks, guys. Bye.